Hello, my amazing artists. In this lesson, we are going to be inspired by this painting, The Bouquet of Peace by Pablo Picasso. We're going to make our own version. So first, choose one of the skin tones that you have already painted, and you're going to trace your hand. So I'm laying my hand flat, and then I'm going around each one of my beautiful fingers, and I'm tracing it. And I'm using a black oil pastel for this so that it stands out and I can see the lines that I am tracing. I like to trace my hand and then draw the wrist. All right, after tracing our hands, let's cut these out. This is going to take a while, so please take your time and then set it to the side so that we can move to the next step. So after choosing any colored piece of paper that you want, write your name and then flip it over. This is going to be our background. So we're going to collage these hands on top, just like how Pablo Picasso's painting has two hands holding flowers. We're going to also do the same idea. So then with oil pastels, I'm going to draw some circles. I'm drawing one, two, three, four different circles. These are going to be my flowers. So I want them spaced out. Then this is where you have some choices. Maybe you want to add some spiral designs to the inside of your flowers and then start drawing some petals. You'll notice I'm drawing each flower unique. I'm making each one different, and that's to create some variety in my artwork. You are more than welcome to do a similar design and style that I am, or you can choose to make your flowers look different. That is totally up to you as the artist, but I do ask that you take your time on your flowers, do your very best drawing and coloring, and watch my video just for some ideas before you start yours. Hopefully you'll get some inspiration. To create balance in my artwork, I'm having two of my flowers have the spiral design on the middle, and then the other two flowers I will color in completely one color. When we have balance in our artwork, it allows the viewer to move around the artwork in an easy and really appealing way. Alrighty friends, and then I'm going to do some patterns here on the petals. That's a great idea. Maybe you want to try it in your own artwork. So while you are designing your flowers today, I want you to think of how you can use the elements of art. How could you use line? How could you use shape? What about color? Maybe even creating textures with different lines would look nice. And then we need some stems for our flowers, something that the hands can be holding onto. So again, I'm going to create a pattern using a dark green and then a lime green a dark green and a lime green. And then to just make this stand out a little more, I'm going to make them thicker lines. So just color back over them with a thicker line. And I'm adding some little leaves here just for some more details.
Now it is time to collage. So collage is when you glue objects on top of other objects. So in this case, we're going to glue our hands on top of this background that we created. So you want to flip your hands over. Let's do one at a time. I'm tracing the outline of my hands and I'm just putting a whole bunch in the middle because this is thicker paper. You will need a little more glue for this. Then I'm walking my fingers around the hand, around the, every finger, every little edge there so that it stays flat to my background that I created. This is called grab time. You need to let your paper have some grab time so it can stick to whatever you are gluing. And then repeat with your other hand. I am placing my hands on top of one another so that it looks like they are holding hands but you can choose where to place your hands. Maybe you want one high up on the page and you want one lower on the page. That is up to you. But what's really important is walk your fingers around every finger, every little edge of your hand so that it has grab time and it will lay flat. And then if you notice some of the glue has kind of oozed out, all you need is a little paper towel and you can just wipe it up like that. All right, friends, there we go. And, oh, one more thing, sorry. On the back, if you notice that your hands are kind of sticking out a little bit, then all you have to do is flip it over and just trim off that little excess piece of paper. And there we have it, friends. Our very own version of Bouquets of Peace inspired by Pablo Picasso.